Hi, Claudine Lewis, respiratory therapy care student doing some nasotracheal suctioning. I've already verified the order and assembled my equipment, washed my hands and applied gloves. Uh, Mr. Jones, the doctor has ordered some suctioning for you to help you get rid of some of that gunk in your lungs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a little airway in your nose to kind of help us uh, get to those secretions without causing you any problems. Because um, it could cause you a nosebleed if we keep doing that really often. So I'm going to lubricate this with some lubricant, uh, double towards the septum, gently insert. If I get a lot of resistance, I may try the other side. So I get the flange up even with the nostril. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take the suction. Yeah, we're going to look at that. So we've got some water nearby. My suction tubing is already connected to the um, suction unit on the wall. All the ports are closed. It's set between 120 and 150. So I will connect my tubing. This is a kind of a sterile field, so these gloves will come off. I would wash my hands. Then I'll put on these sterile gloves, which there's a specific way to do that. Um, grab my fork very carefully, connect the tubing. Verify that it's suctioning with the water. It is suctioning. Fantastic. Okay. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, so we're going to go down in here. It's probably going to cough or gag, um, as people do, until I feel some resistance. Put my thumb over the port. Pull out while twisting. Shouldn't take more than about 10 or 15 seconds to do this. Try not to touch the end. Suction some water out. Just to kind of clear all the tubing out and either dispose of this or keep it as sterile as possible. Um, some people reuse them just because of patient cost. So that's it. Thank you.